All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, wrap him for a thigh contusion. Now, there's a couple of different options that you can do for uh, this, and you have to pick of uh, kind of one or two pads. Now, what I have here is I have one that's called a donut, and the reason it's called a donut is it looks like a donut. The other one is um, it, the hole is not cut out, okay? So let's say he was going to go play and I wanted to protect that bruise. So it doesn't, you know, let's just say he got hit right here. If I place this pad over the top of it, now if he takes a blow, actually this pad, the force, the, the force gets uh, dispersed all the way around the painful site. So that's going to feel a lot better. Now, after he's done playing, He's gonna come back, shower, walk back in. I'm actually gonna place this pad on. What that's gonna do is that's gonna provide the compression directly over the injured site, helping push that swelling out of there. The swelling is gonna reduce the amount of time that it heals. So we wanna get that out of there as much as we possibly can. So this is gonna be after playing. This one is going to be for playing. So again, we're gonna ask him, you know, where's the bruise at? Let's just say he points to right here. We wanna place the pad right over the top. I can get his assistance to hold it. So he's just gonna hold it right there. I'm gonna take my wrap. Again, always kind of following the same principles of the fact that we're gonna go uh, distal to proximal. So we're gonna go all the way up. I'm gonna provide or start with securing it around do my little dog ear around here. And then very similar to what we did with the knee is I'm gonna angle it up just a little bit and then I'm gonna angle it down. I'm gonna angle it back up, crisscrossing, overlapping by half, okay. going all the way up as far as shorts allow. These shorts are a little long and bulky, probably not gonna be what he's gonna be wearing so I might you know, have him might um, have him drop those shorts, go right over the compression shorts. Right. Once this wrap is all the way secure, I'm gonna secure it down with some elastic tape, put some tape down. That way if he takes a blow right here, um, it's not gonna hurt it. If I had to, if I felt like this was gonna slide down, one of the things that I can do as well is go around the waist one time and that's gonna help hold everything up, but you really shouldn't have to. Kind of talk about doing uh, the waist here in just a little bit. If I was going to, if you had had a hamstring injury, I would do the exact same, but what I would do is I would crisscross and make those X's on the posterior side, just providing a little bit extra kind of pressure right directly over that area. Now again, after he's done playing, I'm going to take this off, grab the other wrap or the other pad, put that right on there wrap it back up and then that's going to help provide a little additional compression right over that spot.